is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 20th of January, and we've got the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's down 62 at 32,980. That sharp sell-off that continued into Thursday, actually continuing today, has the Dow in a sell mode, and it's getting really close to the support level that it's got to, uh, that's a sell signal upgrade to a sell mode. That's just the designation on the daily chart. The weekly chart is still holding pretty well. Uh, but we're, what we're looking at is with the next two, three days, the Dow really needs to get back to the 33,300 uh, 33, uh, area. We're watching this very closely. Looking at the S&P, the S&P has pulled back from a peak D at the 200 period moving average. Uh, nothing technically bad here. There isn't a, all that much strength in the uh, stochastic at 68%, but the MACD is holding and the line's above the 14. I think there should be some kind of a rebound. Yeah, it's a very important that there is one just to say, hey, I'm getting back to that selling pressure that we had the other day. Uh, looking at the QQQ up a dollar ninety at 277.04. Not bad action above the nine period moving average. Did make that peak D that we were talking about in the Chapman Wave methodology. That's the fourth highest peak where other things can happen. Certainly it's pulled back, but holding quite well. We've got to see it next week start to go into the 291, 293 area so that it breaks decisively above this inside track repellent zone. IWM is the one that we're focusing on here, holding very nicely here. It's up $1.10 at 183.13. Uh, got that 200 period moving average at 184.80 as resistance. We'll see what happens. It needs to hold us 179 over the next two sessions. And we're looking at gold. I wouldn't be surprised if gold starts a little bit of a pullback from this leg. F, it could be an alternate count. But the MACD is very strong. Stochastic still at 84%. On balance volume has pulled back. But holding above the nine, above the very well above the nine period moving average and that's above the 14 says there's a tremendous amount of support unless gold for some reason breaks to 1860 1860 says uh oh now there's a problem but at this particular point it's the go-to place i guess looking at the tlt the tlt is bonds down 78 cents at 107.18 got to a peak e double top to see if it holds and we're looking at crude oil as we go to the break and we're going to go to the tiger technicians hour my show at 10 o'clock 10:06 uh, 